How often do you use chatting applications in the browser? And have you ever wondered how is it different from a normal website? Let's see what are WebSockets and how is it different from a normal HTTP protocol. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. The agenda for this particular session is how does the HTTP protocol work? We are going to see what happens under the hood whenever a HTTP request is sent and received. We are going to see what are WebSockets, where and when can WebSockets be used, real time WebSocket implementations and also when not to use WebSockets. So how does the HTTP protocol work under the hood? Take a typical uh, google.com. So whenever we hit google.com, the request goes to a backend server. And this request goes in the form of HTTP or HTTPS. So these are the communication protocols which our browser uses to communicate with the web server. Whenever there is a request sent to the web server, there will be a response sent as well. So when a request is sent, there will be a TCP connection created between the client and the server. And once the response is received, this connection gets closed. So every time a URL is sent to the web server, there is a connection open and the connection is closed once the response is received. So let's say a website is giving five different requests to the web server in order to retrieve five different information it is going to create five different connections separately and it is going to close those connections once the responses are received this is how a typical http or https connection works if you take any rest connection it is also the same thing so whenever you are hitting a rest endpoint from your ui or from a different server it is going to create a separate connection it is going to request the data from the server once the response is received the connection gets closed let's say there is a web client which is going to send hundreds of requests to the backend web server when it is doing some trade processing it is going to retrieve those hundred information with hundred set of new connections so every time a request is made a new connection is made this is how a typical http or a https connection works so every time you hit a website it makes a request so a new connection is created every single time what are web sockets and how are they different from the traditional http world whenever a web socket is involved there will be a client and server similar to how we have in our current day to day scenario this could be a client a web browser or maybe a different server in, in itself there is a bidirectional communication between web sockets Web sockets are created using WS colon double slash. Unlike the HTTP, web sockets use this format. Whenever you see WS colon double slash in a website, that means it is using web sockets. I'll show you uh, that in a bit. But understand that the difference between the HTTP connection and a web socket is that HTTPs are unidirectional. So the sender has to trigger a request and he will get a response. Web sockets are bidirectional. So the sender can send the data, the receiver also can send the data. So in this particular case, let's consider a chatting application. So you have a chat window open, you're sending a request to the server, you're hitting hi to your friend, your friend also has his browser open, he receives the request from the server automatically. Whenever you are sending the request, it is from you to the server. When that is pushed to his UI, it is done from the server to the UI. Same way, whenever your friend pushes some message you also receive it in the same fashion web sockets uses bidirectional communication how are they achieving it they don't close the connection which they open for the first time whenever a client has established a connection with the server the connection stays there until the client or the server decides to terminate the connection let's see that with the example let's consider client there's a client which is a web browser and there is a server Whenever we initiate a connection between the client and the server, a handshake is made and 
the client and the server decide that okay we will create a new connection and this is going to be there forever until i die once the connection is open the communication happens in terms of bidirectional message processing once the connection is open the connection exists until the client on the server dies when one of the side decides to close the connection the connection gets terminated permanently from both the ends so this is how web socket works unlike http where a connection is created a response is received and the connection is closed here the connection is created and kept open and communications happen between the same connection once the client decides that i am done with the updates i don't want to receive anything from the server the connection gets closed where and when can web sockets be used obviously it can be used with real time applications when you want to load the ui without even having to refresh the ui you could think about ajax ajax is a implementation over http where we do http polling or streaming it still uses http so every time it has to open a new socket and then poll the data however in web sockets there is already a open connection and the data is pushed over the same connection that's why web sockets are faster i'll show you a typical example of web socket in the next next slide how faster it is the next one is the gaming applications if you're playing a game in the web browser you might notice that you don't have to refresh your ui the ui gets automatically refreshed without even having to reestablish a new connection so web sockets are very helpful when you're playing games chat applications as i said earlier with an example chat applications heavily use web sockets so let's see some real time web socket implementation examples i'm just going to show you some websites which are using web sockets even google.com uses web sockets but i'll just show a little bit complex implementation so that you have an idea about what are web sockets and how they are really used this is the bitcoin exchange this is the most volatile thing which is happening so i just wanted to show you or make you feel how the communication happens and how quick it is what we are going to do is we are going to see the back side of this website so we are going to see what's happening when there then when there are requests and responses going in let me move this down a little bit so that i can show you or maybe yeah let us try it if you notice here this is the gdax exchange where bitcoins and some other cryptocurrencies are traded uh, these are some different cryptocurrencies which are getting traded i just wanted to show you how web sockets are used in this particular website if you see if you notice here the data is getting changed every second or every millisecond right there are so many datas which are getting pushed to the client side so how are these happening so these are happening because there are web sockets implemented in this particular web page let me go to the network option here and let's park this a little bit whenever you click on a url let's say this is a url which got loaded as a part of this which web as a part of this website load if you notice here it uses https connection so this is the tra traditional http protocol however how are the feeds getting updated that is using web sockets if you notice this particular url the request url this is using web sockets it is using wsp.gdax and using the request method get the status code is 101 because the way web sockets work are slightly different from how http works let me load this website again when we load this website a connection is created between the client and the server and it creates a socket and keeps it there and further communications happen via the same channel let's go to the same web socket channel there is an option called frames where you can see what's happening now notice here there are lots of messages coming in and these are the json messages which are getting updated in the ui that's how whenever there's an update we are seeing that there is a change in the let's move this if you notice here the frames are coming in and you can see the data getting changed so this is 
web sockets we did not refresh any page we are not doing any ajax call we are not triggering any request however the data is getting pushed to the ui whenever there is an update from the server side so whenever there is a change in the stock the data is getting pushed to all these clients which are registered to the server our client is one of the registrar that's why the data is getting pushed to our ui this is a example of how web sockets can be used in the trading world let's see a chat example let me close this window let's do the same inspect here so that we can see what's happening when there is a communication happening with the server let me refresh the page so that the networks are loaded here so the transport happens using this particular web socket notice here there is a web socket here as well so ws colon so this is a web socket let me go to the frames the frames show how much data is coming in and going out so see this somebody has left the chat room that's why the data is gone let's enter the chat room right saying tech primers see that there was a request sent to the server saying add user tech primers somebody else also logged in i think it's a login message saying 26 participants are there including us then i think we got some message two and three i think it went up and down right let's try publishing a message say hi once we say hi we send four different messages the first one is called typing then stop typing new message and then stop typing so these are the different messages which we send to the server and now if you notice the server has sent us some message this is how web sockets work so we had created a socket connection between the client and the server if i just refresh this particular window these communication whatever we did already will be expired and there will be a new set of communication happening so the state is like lost once we refresh the connection once we recreate the connection so messages which we will be publishing will not have any interdependency within the state so whenever a message one receives the client that message should not have any relevance to message two that way we will be able to easily get new and new data every time we refresh the ui that's how we are able to see only the new messages in the chat window and we don't care about the messages which we got some time back that leads to us to the next topic which is nothing but when not to use web sockets web socket should not be used whenever we don't want to have only the new data if let's say we want to retrieve old information as well that's when you can go for http because you can use some restful web services and hit the rest endpoint and then retrieve the data because it's going to be only one shot thing web sockets can be used when you want real time updates if you don't want any real time updates then it is better not to go for web sockets because web socket just creates a socket and then keeps it alive if you are not worried about um, getting the data every now and then and if you want to just load the data only once you can go for http because http creates a connection once we send the request and it closes the connection once the response is retrieved however web sockets keeps the connection alive until we kill our connection as i said restful web services are sufficient to get the data from the server if you are getting the data only once if you are loading the data only once then it is better to go for restful web services however if you want to get real time updates that's when you can go for web sockets so what did we see in this particular video we saw how does the http protocol works http protocol is a unidirectional protocol you can create a connection using the http request method and the connection gets closed once the response is received we also saw what are web sockets web sockets are bidirectional communication protocol which can be using a single connection and it can send the data from the server to the client and from the client to the server where and when can web sockets be used we saw the real time stock trading application we saw a chat application and also it can be used in all real time applications which we create when not to use web sockets we should not be using it when we don't want to have the connection retained for a stipulated amount of time that's when we can ignore using the web sockets
I hope uh, you guys found this video interesting and you just got a basic idea about what are WebSockets. In the future videos, we might be seeing how to create WebSockets using a UI application or maybe a Java application or even a JavaScript application. That's it for this particular video. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.